into scrap corner. Today we are going to do a watercolor bee. Or a bee in watercolor. And I am using a 9 by 12 Master Touch a mixed media book for this. And I really enjoyed doing the, this one. I think it came out really cute. I used a um, uh, set of watercolors that you cannot even buy now. I, I don't know why I drug these out the other day, but I did. And I really enjoyed, I enjoyed using them. And uh, <coughs> right now, I already draw my image on my pad to save time and all that and take my edges down but I'm using a, what they call pecan brown it's more like a burnt um thing and I'm just going in and painting the boot like I think it should be and I go over this two or three times to get my shading and all like I want and as you can tell, I mean, at the corner, at the bottom corner of the screen, you can see the image, the paint, the picture that I've finished in this. And there is a, on my blog at angiecraftcorner.com is a sketch of the boot and the flowers for you. You can download and print out and then trace it onto the watercolor paper or you can print well I, I wouldn't recommend printing it out that way but anyways so and I'm just uh, walking and just having fun and just and I did not speed this one up because for some odd reason my editing program locks up and I'm, I don't like it so yeah it's gonna be it's a little long I've cut out everything I can to speed it up but I just couldn't get it to work tonight I'm just walking around the flowers and different stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what I get for drinking Coke and trying to record. Yes, and Toots is doing good. The babies is doing, the puppies is doing really good. They're growing. they over a week old now. And for the, my tape, I use a painter's tape from Dollar Tree. Well, I mean, you get a roll of it for a buck. It lasts a little while. Um, the Master Touch um, mixed media pad, I like. I love them. That's, I mean, I like it better than I do a lot of watercolor paper. Um, I buy it when it's half off, when they have the sale half off. I use a Master Touch. Oh no, they fine touch. They find something. Be fine touch. Uh, more, uh, paint brushes from uh, Hobby Lobby also. And most of my paintings, I, I, the brushes I've got, I like. And they work great for what I do with watercolor. Um, I'm just going in and kind of donking around the edges, and getting a more of a brownish, making it look like an old boot. And the heat, 
We've got the heat on because we've got puppies out here. We have to keep, I'm having to keep the craft room warmer than normal. And I want the back, back of the boots to look darker than the, the toe and all. And that was a little bit of work in progress. I can honestly say that. And I used, um, to make my highlights, I used the pecan brown and the oxy black. I've got why well, I use a lot of black, adding to my different colors of my paints to make them darker. I mean, just a tad, just a little bit that goes a long ways with the black. It's raining in Arkansas. Jesse, where are you? Jesse, Johnny. And yes, Katie is up very protective of her puppies. Jesse can look at them, but that's about the extent of it. And he tries to go in Katie's cage because they share a cage when she don't have puppies. And he just not liking this, not having his buddy. And she don't play with him like she normally does, and he's just not happy. He tries every way possible to get her to play with him. And on this one, I left the black background, the background white, just like it is. Just use the paint as the background. And yes, this is a full soap one. No, I do not like doing them because I think, and I, but sometimes it's easier for me to do a full soap one than paint and talk to. Mostly if it's during the day, I can paint and videotape and talk. Plus Joey comes out here a lot and sits and talks to me during the day. Now if I'm up in the middle of the night like I am tonight, nah, not, not, not as much. I mean, he'll leave, he leaves and lets me do my videos and what I want. He's a good, he's a good husband to me. He's really good. He lets me play in the craft room more than anything. He does, he does a lot. All the cook, most of the cook, 99.9% .9 of the cooking, he does all the cleaning, 
He does the laundry, all of that. I have tried. He's he's told me I didn't know how to load the dishwasher on different stuff. And I said, fine. Why am I wasting my time? But he's good to me. He waits on me hand and foot. Make sure I get my medicine down me and whatnot. Everything I need to do. Even though sometimes I balk at it. I guess the cold front's coming in. It's been really nice the last couple of days. It's been like in the 70s. And I've really enjoyed it. Because I love having the doors open, the windows open, and off. But I guess, I mean, winter is coming, I know. And I don't want it. I may even him take me somewhere where it's warm this winter. He just laughs at me. <laughs> just like a man, huh? <clears throat> okay, I'm adding black to this to get it a little bit darker. So this is the sole of the boot. I'm just going in adding some fine details of trying to make that look like a soul and like I, like I want it to look. And as you can tell, I use paper towels like crazy out here. Okay, I'm going in with the pig on brown and the oxy black and just adding a little bit more highlight to the toe. Darken it up just a, just a little bit. I 
I mean, I know I'm not a, a watercolor. I am learning. I'm teaching myself. I'm, I'm hoping y'all can join the journey with me. Watercolors to me was is one of the hardest mediums to learn. But I've enjoyed it. What I have learned. Um, I started out in oils. Mm, let's see, this was five. And it's 18 now, so 14 years ago. And here I used just a makeup brush. It's a powder brush, I think, that I got. I, I just use it for watercolors only. Kind of just smooth. Uh, my lines out when I want a smooth, smooth area. And it's a big old brush. And I got it from uh, JW's closeout here locally. In Alma, if y'all have not visited uh, JW's closeout, uh, I recommend y'all do. If y'all live around Alma area, Alma, Arkansas area, um, they have all kinds of stuff. They've got new blur clothes for like two bucks a piece. That's a whole set. Um, a little bit of everything they've got. They they get in art supplies, they get in uh, Christmas supplies and or Christmas decorations where you can make wreaths and all kinds of stuff. Check them out if y'all's in the area. And no, they did not sponsor this video. I just like to, to give them a shout out. Because I do get some of my art supplies from JW's closeouts in Alma. Okay, I'm going in with the Oxy Black for the rings of the booth for the tie, uh, boot strings go. I think on one that's fog. And I'm getting sleepy. Rain's hitting that metal, the metal roof out on the porch. I got the, wind, the door open. So the dogs can go in and out. Okay, I'm going in with uh, strawberry. It's kind of like a lint and crimson, but on um, this palette, it's called strawberry for the flower one.
and for my brushes I used a number 16 and a number 10 round on this. Don't hear that rain. Hear the patting on the metal roof. And just a quick update on me, I'm doing pretty good right now. Um, I ain't had really too many issues. I have my good days and my bad days. No more major nosebleeds, thank the Lord. I'm just, I just take it one day at a time. And if I'm feeling good, I try to video take two or three videos that day. Because days I don't feel good, I don't worry about it. That's why it's a hit and mess with my videos some days, some weeks. <coughs> I just do it when I feel good. I don't, I do it for fun and because I want to share what I'm doing with everybody. It's not that I'm an expert at any of it. Because I'm not. And yes, I do dab with the uh, paper towels. This boot gave me some the sh shed. Get it to look like I wanted it. It did give me some issues. Well, hello, Mr. Jesse. How are you? Can you say hi to everybody? Did you finally wake up? Is it raining? Huh? Is it raining, little Jesse? Yeah. You want a boy? Yeah, you want some lovers? You want your belly scratched, don't you? As long as I'm scratching his belly, he does fine. He wants me. If, as soon as I quit, he'll leave me. He'll lay in my arms like a baby. And go to sleep as long as I'm stretching his neck and his belly. Yeah. He's rotten. Can't you tell his dog is rotten? Well, love. Yeah. You're a good boy, ain't you? Are you just stood muffin of the hill? Good 
Okay, so I even hear a squeak in my room while I'm sitting here talking to y'all. That rain making me sleepy. Yeah. Yes, I baby my dogs. If y'all can't tell. They think they half human. You ask this one if he wants to go bye bye, he usually throws a fit. You wanna go bye bye? No, you don't want to get wet. I don't blame her on you. And y'all, I really do try to stay in frame, but sometimes I don't. Um, I'm working on that. I'm taping off an area where I know if you can see the blue tape at the bottom of my of the screen on my glass mat is what I'm saying that I cannot go over that. I am working on this. I'm trying to make better videos. Okay, I am using R4 yellow on the form of the boot. And I'll add some um, teton brown with it to make it a little bit darker. Yeah, you're a good boy. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi, people. My name's Jesse. I'm a good boy. Yes, I am. He's so rotten. Titi is too, but she's more. She, uh, she, she's a very good mama. Titi is a great mama with those puppies. She's with them nearly twenty four seven. She get, gets out and eats and goes use the bathroom and she'll let me hold her every so often, but not much. She's, she's really taking care of those babies. We got four boys and one little girl, and they are growing daily. I mean, daily. I haven't messed with them much because I don't want to get attached to them like I did the last set. Last set, I cried when they left, and I, I'm. I'm determined not to get attached to these. <laughs> We've got a security camera up on the top of the cage. And I just look at them. Instead of going over the and looking in the cage. To make sure they're doing okay and have everything they doing good. Because that last set, I mean, it broke my heart to see them leave. And I just, I can't do it. I, I get attached to these dogs. I mean, we've had Jesse and Titi a year, a little bit over a year now. Well, we've had Titi a year and a half. And Jesse just a year and a month. And they just my babies. At least they don't back talk you. Like, Teenagers does. And for the ones that don't know, we have three teenagers. They 19, 18, and 17. Mm. 
so but we we don't get to see we don't see none of them much anymore they all got their own lives don't mean we don't love them we do and we worry about them and think about them a lot Joey accuses me of having more pictures on my phone of the dogs than I do of the kids, and I do. I really do. And that's sad to say, but I really do. Okay, here I'm using uh, the pecan brown and a yellow opal. This is like the inside of the uh, your feet. I'm just trying to get a little bit darker shadow. <coughs> Sorry, I got to play with the dog. I'm talking to him. I got, I got him out. And I'm just going back in with the yellow opal and a, a little bit of the pecan brown. Just make it a little bit darker than the yellow opal is allowing it. Okay, this I'm I'm just getting this a little bit long. I don't know why I want it stop, but I did. I think I was trying to cover up pencil lines, and it just was not working.
Okay, I'm using um, yellow aquam and uh, the strawberry and made a, a real light orange to go back over the flowers after they dried. You hear that rain hitting that middle roof? Like, reminds me of sleeping at my grandma's when it rained. I don't think I'd do that. She had an old tin roof when I was little. And it would, I didn't appreciate it back then because uh, I thought it was just racket, but now I'm like, that was a good, good old days. My dad's mom lived less than a quarter of a mile from us growing up. So we was in and out of our house all the time. She, I mean, she was in the 70s and we had to go for it. I mean, she would get, she would drive that go kart with us, didn't even think nothing twice about it. I miss those good old days. I miss my grandma too, though. If I knew what I knew now. <laughs> oh well. I do have good memories of my grandma. My dad's mom. She used to make us chocolate fried pies. I ain't found one like her since then. She'd make fried cornbread and fried biscuits. She sports us. Okay, this is a, I'm just adding yellow aqua to the middle of the flowers here. And then uh, the pecan brown, I'm just going to dab in the middle and just let the water do its thing. No, maybe not. I'm doing the uh, boot laces. And I used uh, yellow aqua and uh, pecan brown, but more of the pecan brown than I did the yellow aqua here. Hear Joey in the house. Okay, I signed it here, but I kept on looking at it and I didn't think it was finished. So I went over it with a, I was going to start up with it with a gel ink pen. Well, it was not working. So we tried two or three different types of ink pens before I got one that looked like I wanted it to. It was just, I don't, 
just so it's not walking over the water pole. But it was just a little old cheap pen from a Dollar Tree, so, I mean, what do you expect? Not a whole lot. Here I'm looking for another pen. And then I used, uh, Jesus. I don't know where they at. I used the Prism, finally the Prism Carl ink pen. But before that, I used the uh, Dig Memory System uh, pen. And it wasn't working either, so I gave up on it. And I used a point five, I think, on that. Yes. And I'm just outlining my flowers, my boots. I mean, I'm outlining the whole painting with this pen. A lot of times I do the outlining before I paint, but I wasn't planning on doing the ink on this one. But it needed, I thought it needed it. After I got it done. No, he's up. I hear him. This is tedious. This is why I normally have it done before I even start painting and a lot of times before I even start the, start the camera rolling.
Okay, I forgot to add the leaves, the green leaves to this. So I'm going in with the Jupiter green and adding leaves. And I added a little bit of oxy black with it, just enough to make it a little bit darker than what I what the uh, Jupiter green was to give to make it stand out on the ground. And I just took my um, paintbrush and just made uh, strips or um, lines. Nothing tech fancy. Just as you can see. Thank you for watching Inchy's Craft Corner. I appreciate all the views I get. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you like to see more of this type of video, subscribe to us below. Visit us at www.inchycraftcorner.com. And uh, we love you. And I hope y'all enjoy this video. Have a blessed day. Bye.